Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Valentino and I'm an EDM production student at the Academy of Contemporary Music Birmingham. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uplifters and downlifters in the Serum plugin. Uh, all the tips and tricks I show you guys today are applicable to every DAW, but personally I've chosen to use Ableton today. So to begin, what you're going to want to start off with is by going into your piano roll and drawing out your root note in 8 bars length. The reason you have to do it in your root note is it sounds the best when it's going in a buildup of track. Once you've done that, you're going to want to head into your D to your plugin, sorry, to Serum in this case, and you're going to want to start by heading down here to the pitch bend section and turning it either up to six semitones or twelve semitones, whatever you choose, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to do twelve semitones up or twelve down for the sake of this tutorial, but feel free to mess around with that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to head over to the filter section and tick this box. Then you're going to bring your cutoff down. So what we've done by ticking this box is we've turned on a filter. In this case, it's the MG Low Pass 12. And we've set its cutoff so that it's cutting off all of the higher frequencies. So it should sound like this. Once we have that, you're going to go down to the LFO section select this button, hold it down, and bring it over to the cutoff. Now, this is going to oscillate the sound that we've just made. So here's a demo of that. There you go. If you want to mess with the speed, that's where this rate knob comes into play. So we could turn it up to say 1 8, 16, 30 second, and so on and so forth. Another trick to make it cooler sounding obviously since we have a saw wave we can make a detuned saw by turning up your unison to let's say seven and then bringing down your detune to make it more uniform and bring the blend up a little bit so you should get a sound like this sounds pretty cool in my opinion now to make it pitch bend up or down and to oscillate the way you want it to what we're going to do is we're going to head into our LFO section where you can draw in your LFO curve and what you're going to want to do is obviously start it off on a fourth then bring it up to an eighth and then finally up to a sixteenth like I have here just by clicking and drawing it in then you're going to head over to your pitch bend section and you're going to make it go from the 50% up to 100 or from 50% to zero depending on if you're making an uplifter or a downlifter. This is what it should sound like. There you go. Now, uh, another trick you can apply to make this even better is if you have any presets or have gotten any preset packs, you can go into any preset that you would like in this case, let's just take a Dirty Saw by Cashmere. There we go. This is from his Sounds of Cashmere pack. And you're going to want to go back into the main page of Serum. And you're going to want to change the pitch bend again because it resets it. And you're also going to want to do the same thing with the filter section. So turn it on, bring it down, and bring over the LFO control. Now once you've done that, the same rules have been applied to this sound. Let's hear how it sounds. Sounds pretty cool in my opinion, and you can apply this to almost any lead preset that you have. Lastly, where you're going to want to do so it fits in your mix is you're going to want to do a side chain. The sound, obviously, so it's sitting well with any kick or anything else going on. So uh, a plugin you could use for that is Nicky Ramiro's Kickstart, which is just a basic side chain plugin with presets for every type of side chain you could think of. So let's hear how it sounds with the side chain on. 
and that is just a free punch preset, not the classic chain. And these are quite harsh, so I'm going to bring down the mix on it to about 75. There you go. Once you've done that, feel free to add reverbs and other effects, either from uh, your own other plugins, or you can go into the FX section of Serum and do that yourself as well. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it a lot. And see you next time.